So what I'm trying to find out is how contaminants in the water, um, it, it could be pesticides or it could be pharmaceuticals, personal care products, how these contaminants may affect the health of the environment and fish or by extrapolation how they might affect human health. We do two kinds of exposures, one in the laboratory where we treat the fish with uh, contaminants in aquaria or otherwise we might go out to a field site where the fish are swimming and, and you know are maybe below a sewage treatment facility and then examine them there. And then what we do is we take blood samples from the fish and we also take different tissues and then analyze the tissues by microarray analysis which is a novel method to um, understand how gene expression in the fish has been affected by the contaminants. So one of the things that we're working on, for example, are pesticides that are legacy contaminants that have been applied to uh, areas where vegetables are growing. And uh, these are persistent chemicals and they get into the food web and they get into fish and they impact fish. And some of these are pesticides such as para-DDE and um, a dieldrin, among others. And uh, with one study with dieldrin, we found that in fish, it impacted the brain. And the pathways in the brain that it impacted are pathways that are similar to pathways known to be involved in Parkinson's disease. Now, we don't know that fish have Parkinson's disease, per se, but they are vertebrates, and thus the same pathways in fish as in humans could be activated by these compounds and we're very interested in, in finding what those are.